Hello, I'm Brandon Bloom. I'm Christian McCaffrey, and this is our Fremont Area Wildlife Improvement. So to start with, this is the current Fremont area as of now. Um, you have pretty much city feel right here. You have the Platte River and a few state parks, a few parks here and there, and you have the mountains behind the Platte River. That's about it. There's nothing really major different about Fremont than other, any other city. Um, but Brandon will talk more about the resource part, which sets it apart. Fremont um, has uh, a few different resources in and around um, the town. First off, the major resource and biggest one they have is the Platte River, which, um, which is a great resource for many wildlife, and including with the Platte, Platte River, it has many um, surrounding forests, which is great for wildlife as well. Um, also, the Fremont Lakes, which is a big resource um, for many, many different wildlife, along with there's several parks in and around Fremont here. Um, and east of town, there is a big open land, which um, could be good potential for improvement. So there's three major improvement plans that we um, plan on doing for the town of Fremont. The first two, the first one actually is gonna be, we're gonna so build a dome around, um, kind of around the Platte River, uh, kind of where those mountains and forests are along the edge. Um, so the dome, it's in order to uh, create a controlled environment and it's gonna house um, Arctic animals such as polar bears and penguins. Um, this is gonna help especially polar bears get off the endangered list. Uh, along with the Platte River, there's gonna be a deviation um, along kind of the end there for to hold other many uh, resources in the environment. So this de the deviation um, is designed to have three different sections along with it. Um, the sections, they're not gonna be caught up, caught up, excuse me, cut off from each other. They're gonna be consist of rainforest, red oak, and evergreens. And the last one is uh, the, we're gonna build man-made lakes. Uh, this was kind of weird for us to come up with, but it's something that we think could actually work in the future. Uh, so these lakes will consist of 10 miles in the open land east of Fremont, the land that was completely not occupied. Uh, so these lakes will consist of a, very, a variety of species, species that maybe you would see in Nebraska and other species that you wouldn't normally see in Nebraska. Um, so there will be a total of five lakes. Four of them will consist of the four distinct regions by time zone. Uh, we thought that was kind of unique and distinct to do. Um, so we did it that way, the East Coast, Central Mountain, West Coast, and these would all host the fish from their exotic um, regions and more of their time zones. And the fifth lake will be a saltwater lake to see animals from around the oceans in America. So for our map, as you can see, the Fremont Lake is still here, Platte River going down. You have the dome, which is right here, it, the deviation that comes off the Platte River. It's kind of an extension of the bank to run it into the, the dome so polar bears can kind of get up a, an ocean feel um, where they can swim out and catch their food if they need to. The second deviation comes around Wildwood Park and comes in just before Homer Park. Um, and in this little section, although it's small, it will provide a distinct enough environment for other animals. You know, we'll have the rainforest, red oak, and the evergreen coming down with a bridge to go over top so you can view it. And then as I said, the east of the city will have five lakes. And the ocean lakes, the first one is kind of the biggest because most of the ocean animals need bigger room to run. East coast is the next one. It's kind of a little bit smaller, not as big, um, just to get more distinct variety. The central lake is kind of one of the bigger lakes. You know, you don't really see too many animals around, you know, the Minnesota area or any area around there. The mountain lake is again another bigger, bigger one, just so we can get more fish from around us to come in. And then the West Coast finally is the last lake. It's more because it hosts of salmon. Um, that's what they have up there, but we can host a more variety of lakes. And this is our improvement plan for the town of Fremont, and we're excited to get to work.